guys, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna do another leather bag review for you today. And this one is by a company called Rough and Tumble out of Maine. Um, the owner of this particular company uh, makes these bags and she does have a small staff and two stores in Maine. And these particular bags are made one at a time. Um, this is a full grain leather and she does use tanneries from around the world. This particular one is from Italy. And the name of the tannery that she used for this particular bag was uh, Morin Giles. And this bag is in a um, color called Goldenrod. And I just, when I saw it, I mean, I just was, I was immediately drawn to this color. Um, typically, I like a more um, cool color palette. And this is definitely a warm, but I'm just different about my bags. I like a warm color with my bags. And I, I mean, I could have went with, they have so many different colors. I mean, you really wouldn't believe until you visit their website how many different colors they have. But they have like um, every shade of brown that you can even imagine. And they're constantly getting new colors and um, fading out the other colors and bringing new things in. But they don't just have browns, they have um, pinks like tourmaline, they have uh, emerald, they have some really pretty, pretty reds, they have just all kinds of colors. And I want to give you some information on um, this particular bag. Now each, each one is different, um, but this particular one is uh, goldenrod and it's a Mont Blanc leather. And I had no idea what Mont Blanc leather was or what it meant or anything like that. So I, I did some, some research on it and looked it up. This is um, a chrome tan leather. And up until recently, I really wasn't familiar with what that even meant, which was, you know, I'd heard of vegetable tan. I have a vegetable tan leather bag, and I'll show you that one. And we'll do a little bit of comparison on that as well. Um, let's see. Here we go. So this, Leather is full grain, like I mentioned. It smells amazing too. Um, so, which means they use the entire hide. Uh, nothing is sanded away, polished. Um, because a lot of times the difference in full grain and top grain is they do remove layers of imperfections from the leather, which does make it thinner, um, but not always desirable. I mean, I per personally, I like character in my leather and I do prefer a full grain leather. Um, this particular bag does not have a lot of um, imperfections and flaws. I do see a hide mark on it, and I'll point that out to you. There is a hide mark right there. If you can see that, but that's, it's very minor. I mean, and there's, there's really, I don't see a whole lot on this bag, but typically um, a full grain leather will show characteristics like you can see stretch marks um, you'll see veining in this type of this is urban southern by the way I've already reviewed this one I'm sorry for pulling it out again but you'll see veining and stuff like that in these bags but that one's slightly different because I'm sure it was a whole different process you know so this one is chrome tanned I believe that one is chrome tanned as well but this one has um, an aniline plus finish which means it does have like a, a waxy finish. And that's another thing that really appealed to me. It has like a sheen. You can see that on there. They say that will diminish over time. I don't know how much time and how much use and how much wear it would have to take, but I've seen pictures of these bags that are several years old and they still look just like this. Um, average thickness of this hide is 1 to 1.2 millimeters. Now let's talk about the difference between, again, going back to vegetable tan versus chrome tan. This is chrome tan and it's, uh, they're available in a wider variety of colors within the chrome tan. And um, the, it says the color will remain more uniform and the, develop, the leather will not develop a patina quite as quickly. I don't know, that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what you like. Um, I think it's a good thing for me. I do like patina, 
um, which is basically just how a leather ages. I mean, it's, sometimes they'll develop more of a, um, a sheen or they'll get darker. Um, you can just, it's war, it's wearing them. It's worn, it's wearing the leather down it, and it just develops with time. But they say the vegetable tans do develop a little bit more quicker. Um, the vegetable, the, I'm sorry, the chrome tanned is softer and more supple, um, which is a plus for me. I like that. This bag, look at this. I mean, it's just squishable. I really like that. And they actually encourage you to wrinkle this leather to bring out the character. Um, uh, chrome tanned is more resistant to, it's, it says it's fairly resistant to water, stains, and heat, which is very, very good in my book because I have a vegetable tan leather bag, and I want to show it to you, that I didn't know these things when I got this bag, or I would have treated the bag or been more careful. But this is an Italian leather as well, and it's by the company Pratizi, and I bought this at TJ Maxx, like, I don't know, Mm, more than a year ago and I it appealed to me because the color was so nice but it did patina really really quickly because this was the original color and you can see there's quite a difference there this is the uh, crossbody strap that came with it that I just didn't use I used it with the hobo strap and it patinaed really really super quickly and it's it's a big bag and that's Another thing that I did was, you know, it's not something that I could use daily, and it does have a lining, which I'm not a fan of. But anyway, the point of this is the tanning of this leather. It's, I mean, it's high quality. You can tell it's high quality, and you can smell it from even a distance. I've had people walk up to me and be like, what's that smell? I smell leather, and it's the bag. You can smell it from a really far distance. But anyway, um, you can see that it has water stains on it um, right in there especially and at the bottoms you can see where it's been out in the rain and I honestly I, I would have not taken it out in the rain had I known but anyway it's it's pretty bad in the back too I don't know if that's from water or if that's color transfer from my clothing I'm not sure but either way it was doesn't come off and I'm not a fan of but anyway, there's there's nothing I can do about it now. They say the more um, freckling or water spots that you have will eventually develop into the entitled blend into the patina of the bag. That's what I'm trying to say. So, so it's not ruined. It's just you know, it is what it is. I mean, and these particular bags I have looked online and some. Ladies choose to spray these with a rain guard, and one of the ones they recommend is Apple Guard, and I actually have that on hand, so I'm gonna spray this one, just to, for my own peace of mind, not ruining the bag. I hate to ruin my bags, that's just, it really is upsetting. <laughs> but anyway, let's go over the dimensions of this bag. This bag is 12 inches in height, laying completely flat, it would be 14 inches across, and the depth, this bag does not have feet, as you'll see, is three and a half inches in depth. Uh, the side pockets, it has a pocket on each side that actually wraps all the way around. Those are seven inches deep on each side. And it does come with the wide short strap, which is 21 inches um, from top of bag, it says. Um, they actually, you can purchase a separate strap for these, <coughs> excuse me, you can get a crossbody. And I've seen people even get their crossbody or even this strap in a different color, like you get like a vintage brown or something, just for contrast. And I actually thought about doing that because just, I don't know, but I do like that having a matching one too. So that's something I may do in the future. Um, the inside of this bag is unlined which was a major, major plus for me. Look at that, I love that. Natural, suede, unlined interior. That's, when I'm searching for a bag, that's one of the most important things to me, is it being unlined. 
And Rough and Tumble, they, they have a lot of their bags are lined. And that's, I guess that's something that a lot of people like. I just, it's not my personal taste. They have another, um, and you can get them custom made with a lining if you want. And they have a lot, like I said, a lot of their bags are, do come lined. Um, and it has one slip pocket inside. I'll just pull the whole pocket out for you. Which would fit, it fits my iPhone 10 just fine. And it's got their label on it. And it's leather as well. Really nice. And I like having a slip pocket inside for my cell phone, which I guess I could use the side pockets too, but I feel like it would be a little bit easier right here. And then they have a key keeper, which my husband says is a major, major plus because he hates digging for my keys at the bottom of my purse. But it is detachable, which is something I haven't seen very often. If you don't use it, you can detach it. And you could always use this um, D-ring for something else if you like. So, there's that. And then also, I purchased, which I don't typically do, I purchased this uh, matching clutch. And this is the wristlet clutch. And I can tell you the specs on this. This is also in goldenrod. Um, and this one is lined, and I'll show you the lining. It has a lacquered liner linen rather lining with protection um, and it's it's actually really pretty i don't mind so much when my clutch is lined i don't like my purse lined for some reason and that's like a gold lining linen definitely linen and it's um almost a bronze there's no pockets or um, any type of dividers or anything in there there's their logo again there and this particular clutch is four and a half inches in height, nine inches in width, and the zippered opening is eight inches. And this, look at the zipper. It's awesome. Very, very easy. I don't like a zipper that sticks, gets caught, you're at the checkout and you're fighting with your zipper just to get it open, but this is super easy. And I'm going to attempt to use this as my wallet. Um, that's why I bought this. This is called the Card Holder Trio. And you can see that it has three individual slots for credit cards. And I already tried just for the sake of the video and letting you guys know, you can put, easily put two cards in each slot and being able to pull them out easily without struggling. I'm thinking probably even three in that. And I'm just gonna slip that. Oh, I'm sorry, and this color is Butter Brown or or brown butter, I'm sorry. And it's, look at this, it's super flexible too. I, I expected it to have some structure, but it, it doesn't. It doesn't have any structure, which I guess I'm okay with. Once you get the cards in there, that will keep it from bending at least. And then the goal is to just stick that inside there and use that for my cards. And then the other side I can have like um, they're my most used cards. I can have like my other cards that I don't use as often in there in cash. And I guess change is just going to have to roam freely in there for now until I can get maybe like a small coin purse or something. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm trying to hurry here. I'm going to show you what fits in this bag. Can you see it? Okay, I'm gonna pull it up a little bit so where you can even see it. On the table, you can't really see it. Okay, so this is my, I transfer these between bags every single time. This is my cosmetic bag by Madewell. And it's pretty bulky, pretty bulky. Stick that there. And then I have an identical one. Um, an identical one that I um, carry just gum, mints, over the counter meds, chapstick, roll on lip, or not lip gloss, um, roll on perfume, just little miscellaneous items I put in that. And then I have my full size zip around wallet by Kate Spade. And I, this poor wallet has taken a beating. I mean, I've used this for a long time. I love it, I love how much it holds. That's why it's gonna be kind of hard for me switching. I'm gonna try it though. 
but I won't, I won't put this in here for now because that wouldn't be fair because there's nothing in it to create bulk inside the bag. But that fits in between those two pouches. And then the only other thing I would carry is um, keys, and I'm just gonna drop them for now. Keys, I, I have a very small key ring. And it's just basically one key. I don't carry house keys on it, but that's just my car key. And I drop it down in there. Let's see if it's still, um, still has room because I don't like to stuff my bags yeah plenty of room left see I can even fold it over on the top completely and I like that I like that it because I cr it creates more um, of a slouch versus um, stuffed like your purse is gonna explode type thing which I've been there before too I have four kids so things end up in my bag that I don't want in my bag but they end up there but anyway, let me show you how this looks on the shoulder. Hopefully you can see with the camera where it's at. It hits right about the hip area, just below the hip. And then um, plenty of room here. Even if I was wearing like a winter coat, you could see easily that I wouldn't have any trouble. Like it wouldn't feel like constructing at all. It would be very, very comfortable. And I'm 5'5", five five too, for reference. So, very comfortable. It's not, it's not heavy. It's, it's, um, I don't know. And usually I kind of like a, a little bit of more weight, heaviness to my bags, but this is not heavy at all. This one um, from Urban Southern is 1.3 pounds. This one's, I mean, I know it's smaller, but not by that much. It's, it's just a lot. It's, it's lighter. It's definitely lighter. So, and I, I've shared this video with you just because, I don't know, I guess you guys turn to YouTube obviously for help in deciding on things like this. And that's what I did the other day. I was leaning toward a totally different company when I was looking at their leather totes and bags. And I came across a video of a rough and tumble bag and I was like, you know what, that's really neat. That's kind of unique. I like the sheen to it. I like that it's full grain. I like that it's unlined. So I just started researching them and I came across a couple of videos of ladies doing reviews on the small lotus and I was sold. I was completely sold. So hopefully this video has helped you and I do have an Instagram channel. It's leather happy. So feel free to follow me there. I'll post pictures of the bags in um, different lighting so that you can, cause I mean, lighting is, is pretty much everything you can see with <clears throat> the different color variations and things like that. I don't have the best lighting today. It's, it's the sun's out now, but it's been, been kind of dreary. But anyway, if you like my video, subscribe and give me a thumbs up and feel free to leave any comments below. I will check them and I will reply and I appreciate you watching my video. Thanks. Have a great day.